Almost got it back intact. Oh well. But anyway, the Kerbal survived. Let's let's recover vessel. Desmi came home with most of the plane. All right, so we've got more science. Uh, let's do that Paul thing. So just as a reminder, mission control. We we might be running out of secondary missions. Finally, perform a radiation observation on in the lowlands of Paul. A little rover. Uh oh, it's zero. Uh, it's puffing things. It's still got the Delta V from the jet engines in the previous mission. It's got these. It's all confused. Okay, let's try that again. This is also not it. Oh, this is a bad sign. Combined. In orbit of Bob. Oh, no, maybe I went to Paul. Okay, this is fine. Hopefully. Okay, uh, this, is, this is looking safe. Okay. So. With any luck, I shut off all the engines on the rover. And we are going to... To Paul, which is there. No fuel. See... That's not true. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination, that's not true. Let's review. Control from here. Let me reactivate this. It's this... This decoupler doesn't need to be here. It wasn't supposed to be here. And we've used this engine already before. So it's not supposed to have zero delta V. In a pinch, we can just use the rover. If we have to and it works. Okay, let's... Yeah, we can light this engine, and it changes our orbit. I don't know about the zero delta V, but we're getting out of here. We'll figure out the Paul part after we leave. Maybe it's just bop with its Kraken. Okay, yeah, we'll do that first. Okay, out we go. Let's leave bop and its Kraken behind. Still doesn't want to create... Okay, I'm going to have to do it blind. This is great, because it doesn't want to create a maneuver. It doesn't want to create a maneuver because it thinks I don't have any Delta V, even though I just used some Delta V. I'm going to at least simplify it by correcting the inclination right now. But I don't actually know how much Delta V I have. I'm doing this. Normally I wouldn't fix the inclination, I'd just arrange to meet up with Paul at the ascending or descending node. But without an ability to plot that, I'll just make it simpler for myself. And I've saved and reload, si reloaded since, and it still has it, so... So, yeah. It's a little bit persistent about it. Maybe another save and reload would work, but let me just... I'll just do it blind for amusement. Okay, we have a Paul periapsis. Ah, uh, that's getting worse. Okay, we'll just take what we've got there. Can't plot maneuver, so we might as well take what we can get. Okay, can we get closer? There's Paul. Not the first time I've been here. Okay, but we're not impacting it. That's fine. We just have to do a radiation reading from the lowlands. The question is where exactly the lowlands are. Anyway, I'm gonna top off the baguettes on the rover. Well, that was easy. That didn't even take much out of the stage. Okay. Okay, that's where we'll park it. I'm gonna assume this looks like a lowlandy place. So we're gonna go with that. 
But I don't know if our rover can actually rove on these low gravity locations. Rove's fine on Kerbin, but low gravity locations it's not been good for. And of course we have to control it backwards. A lot of glistening in this game though. Oh, it looks like there should be some precious materials down there, but I don't think so. Okay, well, let's see. So we've got 1,700 here, here. Nope. <laughs> nope, still zero. So are these lowlands? That's the question. Okay. Didn't take too much to land. Yeah, it's all very plastic. It's like it's got saran wrap over the whole thing. So if we try to... Does, will it say over? No, it's just low over. I mean, low orbit. Might as well run it. Not a huge thrust weight ratio from these. But they weren't meant to be used on any... taxing place. Oh, it paused. I mean... Will it pause every... No, no, it stopped completely. I know, it never seems to finish the radiation experiment. <laughs> but we're supposed to be in low orbit around Paul, and that's it, right? It's been low orbit. It doesn't say anything about the surface location. I haven't changed biome. That's the surface location, but the research experiment shouldn't care about it. And, okay, now we've got lowlands, but it was sort of... Wanted suspense on that. But anyway, so like, okay, let's say I say cancel now and run. It's gonna do it, right? We're coming straight down. We're not gonna change biome. Whoa, it did something there, though. Okay, good. We actually finished one finally. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, that's. That looks a little bit iffy. I don't want to land right there. We didn't really get to rove on Bop. Will we be able to rove here? The low gravity, though, makes me wonder whether we'll have a grip. Oh, uh, oh what just happened? Okay, no. Uh, right now, we want to change to this rove core. Control and control from here and see you can say up and reversed here. Oh, I could try up. I didn't realize there was an up. I thought I thought there was just a reversed. Oh, well, maybe that's a special one for it. Oh, but trying to run the wheels does not seem to work very well. Um, yeah. Um, roving. Roving might not be possible, but anyway, but we've got the brakes on. So when did we put on the brakes? Anyway. Uh, probably on Bop, but you just need to run the radiation experiment anyway. So, just a minute. Hold, please, hold. It's an up. But we have to assume that up actually works the way... Which up is it talking about, right? Okay, anyway, we got the radiation experiment. So, uh, now let me take off the brakes and see if we can rove. No, no, we don't really have great traction around here. Okay, maybe a sample? Let's try and get a sample. Alright, let's just verify the actual fulfillment of our contract or mission. Artificial superpowers because of the radiation observation. Only just having a Geiger counter could give you superpowers. Anyway. Nope, the stuff is super toxic, like turns your bones to soup toxic. Oh, okay, that's Paul for you. That's it? Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, okay, we continue with gotcha. Okay, free to conduct further observations, discover any superpowers, they can take all the credit. Send crew? No, we didn't send crew. We were wise enough not to send crew into the super ir irradiated environs of Paul. Okay, so we're down to six possible secondary missions now. Should I leave the rover on Paul, or should I bring it back into orbit and send it somewhere else? A biome hopping and sort of milking science isn't normally my thing. 
It'll be interesting to try to get it back to our mothership and then see if we can do more. So, yeah, we are going to... Oh, I didn't want to control that. Get back here. Okay, I want to set that as a target. Alright, I wish the default to default name, but... Um, so, that is going around. Paul, in which direction? Okay, it's going prograde. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got it controlling properly. I didn't realize that the probe core could be reversed. Uh, not reversed, but aimed to up. But now that I know that, we can just go normally here. Behold the super rover. Oh, uh, let's just cut it there. Oh, I've done too much. <laughs> Uh, okay. Paul is small. Well, that should work out at some point. Uh, I hope it doesn't limit our time warp too much. We are catching up with it, so we want to be in a lower orbit at some point. Oh, that's pretty close already. Uh, I'll just take that. That's fine. I hate that. But anyway. Okay. Zero again. <laughs> okay, we have to shut down all the... I keep forgetting to action group these. Okay, well, it's not showing me here correctly, but hopefully I've got all of them deactivated. I wish when we deactivated them, this would stop showing the propellant for them. So, we, we actually want to go to Val now. There's no special preferred way. We, of course, have to go out this way, but other than that... This is another thing they don't have to do. They don't have to stop you from creating a maneuver node just because it reads 0 meters per second or if you don't have enough. There's no good reason to stop you. You could give a warning. You don't have to stop the person from making the maneuver node. I think we should just head out and then figure out the details. Off we go, away from Paul. I've used remarkably little mod propellant for the docking so far. Okay, so now... We'll just bring our orbit down to Val's. We'll just go around and go to Ascending Node and try the inclination. And we'll do the... Periapsis at the same time, if we can. So... Ascending Node, we want to go down, so we want to lean a little bit to this side. Can we get this to Val? If we can, this little rover will have uh, landed on Bob, Paul, and Val. And its wheels are still spinning. Okay, well that's corrected the inclination already. We can just go straight retrograde. Okay. We continue. I don't know how much delta V we have, but it's diminishing. I also am not sure this can land on Val at all. But it is going to make a permanent residence there one way or another. Okay, that, that must be close enough to have an encounter. 76 kilometers, we're probably crashing into it or something. Yep, we are. <laughs> I don't think we've visited Val in this series. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, we're really crashing into it. Okay, out. Just watch after I land on it, they'll pop up with a secondary mission to do something on Val. They didn't really do anything with Val if the missions that we've got are it. Okay. 
Okay, that's pretty tight without crashing. Bob, yes. Paul, yes. Leith, yes. Tylo, yes. But I don't think they they had anything for Val. Val is unloved. Even Drez has gets more attention. Whoa, that made a little jerk there. That sometimes when it makes a little jerk like that, things shift. So we have to watch out for that. Okay, how much will it take to make orbit? I don't even know. Again, I can't plot it, so we just have to hope that we have enough in this stage. So we're just gonna crash this stage, the mothership, into the surface this time. We're gonna use it to help us decelerate. And the rover will stay on Val one way or another, in one piece or many. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to activate all the ant engines. Well, that's good enough. Actually, maybe I don't have to pause it. But no, this part. From here up. Alright. Now, um, engine ants. I think that's all of them. Okay, looking good so far. Okay. Looks like we'll make it. We're definitely not making it back into orbit. Whoa, why are you leaning so much? Don't do that. Well, it's a rover, it's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, no more up. Be a rover again. It's almost in a native habitat instead of all those places where it can't actually rove properly like Paul and Bob. Those places doesn't have enough grip but around here it's happy. Okay but let's see about this surface survey and uh, radiation observation hopefully. I don't know if we get anything for the surface survey. Well, it says 1,680 to transmit, so okay. But we'll wait for the radiation observation. That's a lot. I didn't expect it to be that much. That's, uh, we've got some other stuff. Why? Not just the uh, experiment here. That's only 288. Okay, we got that. It hopped. And transmit. Everything we can transmit anyway. Okay, that's all that. There's 1,123 of samples if we could get to them, but this rover probably can't help us out with that. It can rove though. And again, to some trouble. It's getting a bit. Okay. Val surface speed test. Oh, it, it it skids one way or another too much. I can't keep it going straight. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, all right, right. That's that's enough playing around. Okay, there's not a whole lot of features around Val. It doesn't have much by way of rocks at all. Okay, or at least this location doesn't. Okay, back to... let's go to research and development. We've got a lot of science. Let's see. Just tier 3 and tier 4. Nuclear power. Well, shucks. Might as well. A large coupling. Heavy orbit operations. I think we should just... Uh, be completionist about tier 3. We have enough to complete tier 3, so I'm just gonna do it. There we go. Tier 3 is done. Tier 4, well, all of it will need to come in some other way. And I don't think our missions are gonna give us enough for that. 